We're convinced that if the housewives of Texas knew that if this bill passes beginning January 1st, in addition to the inflation that's taken place in the cost of groceries, there's going to be an additional 3.5% tax they're going to have to pay, that we could kill this bill and enact an equitable tax program for Texas. What we're trying to do is to draw public attention to the terrible, terrible provisions of this act. Senator, if you stopped your filibuster now, would it pass? Right now, the way we count the votes in the Senate, there's uh, 15 against it and 16 for it. Now, we think if the people back home become aroused and let their senator know how they feel, that we can switch that extra vote and save this tax money for the people of Texas. How long are you prepared to filibuster? Well, there are 15 of us, and under the rules of the Senate, we're allowed to speak as long as we can talk. Uh, we're going to continue to talk until we have the public understanding that we think is necessary for this bill. They feel that uh, they better get things while they can and they're not willing to wait. This is a generation that perhaps has never had the experience of a, a, of a slowdown and they really don't understand that things can be a lot worse than they are today. It all goes back to the fact that um, we want everything too much, too soon, too fast. It would be difficult to put the fault on, on anyone because the for instance, people my age uh, have gone into this concept a little bit ourselves. We, rather than save money, we, we would prefer to spend it for some reason or other. There is something being done about it, at least we like to think there is something being done about it, because the banking industry has accepted the challenge, and we've taken it upon ourselves to try to get more uh, information out, not only to the high school graduates, to the high school students, but even down to the grade level. Chromium is one of the three main uh, substances of the opium poppy. Uh, the other, of course, well-known one is morphine. It's not as potent as morphine, but uh, if one, of course, uh, gets uh, dependent to it, he could uh, very well come up with the same withdrawal symptoms, like uh, if you take a great deal of morphine and then stop it all of a sudden. Now, the problem arises when someone gets a uh, hold of huge quantities and then gets down to play the chemist and extracts enough material to, to make it harmful to himself. How do you feel about such over-the-counter drugs, personally? I believe they should be controlled by placing, uh, classifying them as prescription drugs. Do you think this would stop the illegal sales of them? It would uh, greatly help us. We had the same problem with Paragorg several years ago and uh, our problem was solved in the same manner.